So you guys, I did sell my 1991 Mazda Miata. I'm gonna tell you all about it here in this video. If you guys don't like talking videos, this isn't gonna be the one for you. I don't really have much to show. I didn't record me selling it or even much about the process or anything like that. But I was just checking my channel, you know, and I still get a lot of comments. People ask me what car I have. Do I still have the Miata? Did I get a new Miata? You know, I talked about the ND Miata a lot in my previous videos, but I did actually end up sending, selling that 1991 Mazda Miata BRG and I got something a lot better, something I think, you know, the original people on the channel uh, would like this. You know, my first car, if you know that car, this thing is uh, the better version of that, the dream of all that type of fan's car. And uh, I'm actually gonna show that in the next video. I'll do a nice introduction to it. But the car is no secret, you know, if you guys follow me anywhere else on social media, you'll definitely see it and you'll definitely have known uh, about it. But yeah, let's get into it. So I sold that car. Um, the car was just, had problem after problem. Uh, a lot of it being like electrical and you know it was a 1991 so it was an older car and i'm daily driving it and it was just springing problems being super unreliable leaving me stranded a couple times uh one time i had to get to the airport and i was driving home from work and the thing just died on the side of the road had to get it towed home and then uh you know get to the airport quickly and just left it in my uh my little carport so you know just problems like that just kept adding up i was constantly tinkering on it trying to get it fixed trying to get it reliable and then it'll be reliable for like two weeks and then something else uh, so it was just kind of constant headaches at that point. I bought it with like 136,000 miles, if I recall right. I don't really remember exactly. And I put like 10,000 miles on it, so it was at like 146,000. And I owned it for over two years, so I guess that wasn't bad. Uh, you know, like 5,000 miles a year. I, I, I mainly use it to go to school, which was three miles away from my house. Uh, so I wasn't putting crazy miles on it. But yeah, I had a lot of electrical problems, like the grounding issues and just hacky wiring from the previous owner. Or someone else a while ago but uh, that car was super fun while I owned it you know I made a ton of videos on it I was just looking at my channel and there's like well over like 120,000 views on all those Miata videos so uh, thank you guys for everyone who came along on the Miata journey you know supporting me with that car and watching all those videos even likes and all that really do appreciate it but you know this next step on the channel I do plan to upload a little, a little bit more frequently I'm not gonna upload as much as I used to uh, but I do plan on making some occasional videos for you guys Maybe some more informative videos about the new car. So if you guys are excited for that, you know, drop a like and uh, stay subscribed. But I will say when I sold the Miata, I'll tell a little story time about when I sold it. So I listed it on Craigslist, you know, before they started charging $5 for you to post it and ruining it for everyone. This is like six months ago, by the way. Uh, I do realize I haven't made a video in well over a year. It's been like a year and three months. So, you know, it's been a long time, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update, like I said. But yeah, so I listed it on Craigslist before they ruined Craigslist. And uh, I had like... 20 messages in the uh first couple of hours you know people like spamming me you know it was a brg miata with a hard top i'm sure if you're me a miata guy you know a hard top alone is worth a thousand it was an oem one and i listed it for like 2800 2700 or something like that and uh i believe and so you know people were blowing me up and uh <laughs> eventually got someone to come over and uh look at it and then actually on one of the test drives the car like just died and that was embarrassing uh that was <laughs> super terrible whoever came to check that out sorry about that but yeah like i said i was having these electrical problems at the time and i thought i fixed them and then you know it just wasn't grounding or something the alternator wasn't charging and uh it just wouldn't start so basically had to list it at like uh basically that was broken so you know i had to slash the price like crazy uh and then someone came to check it out and uh we jump started it so it did start they could tell the motor was running and everything and uh you know the alternator light was on or the battery light inside of the uh the cluster was on so when we went on the test drive it was like kind of sketchy like hopefully we make it back but so you know they knew the full condition of the car that it needed a lot of work uh, i told them everything you know there's rust under the uh not like crazy rust there's like surface rust where uh, under the brake master cylinder you guys might have seen in one of my videos like especially the how to buy a used Mazda Miata, uh that brake master cylinder was leaking and uh leaked onto the paint and like took off the paint so it was kind of rusting a little bit there and uh you know i told them everything and they knew it was a project car so they got it for a super good deal like i said the miata hardtop's worth a thousand and it's a brg which is a limited run is like three thousand nine hundred fifty for the 91 model year in the u.s and it did have the matching oem hardtop which is a plus so whoever got it hopefully they fix it up and it's running well but it has a fair share of problems and i was just uh now we're on to the next project which is uh not really a project it's just a super clean daily driver that's fun and uh, we're gonna dive into that uh, here in this next video. I'm actually planning to go to the gym right now, wash that car, 
and make a quick edit of it, you know, a little intro for the uh, next video. But I am going to drop a little hint at the end of this, which I think most of you guys will be able to get. And a lot of people ask, like, even if I was still into cars because it's been so long. And I definitely am. If you guys uh, follow me, you might know. I do uh, some car photography on the side. I do a uh, website. is uh... All right, so before that thing fell and ruined the video, uh, I actually am still into car photography. Uh, I do have this uh, A6300 with a nice 35 1.8 on there. And uh, so I do do still do that for fun. I go to Cars and Coffee, take pictures. And I do some articles on my blog, drivingpurity.com. You guys should definitely check that out. I'll put a link in the description. But I am so into cars. You know, I'm still in the car community. I go to Cars and Coffee like at least every once every two weeks or so. Go to some car shows. And uh, recently been to some fun stuff. You know, check the link in the bio. And uh, you'll definitely get some hints on that next car. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, I'm still into cars. Uh, I'm still having fun driving. Still haven't been doing autocross day. I know I've been saying this for like, what, like three years since I started doing YouTube, but I still haven't been to one. I uh, really want to do that one day, at least autocross in this new car. Uh, just have some fun with it. And, you know, probably not a track day. I don't really want to ruin this car. I'm planning to you know daily drive this car for like 10 years, put a ton of miles on it and just have fun with it. You know, I've been taking good care of it. Already got some work done on it. Uh, changed like the... Uh, the uh, trans fluid and stuff like that but I'll get into that in the next video I'll do an overview of it you know a release video an overview of it and just you know the standard stuff I do with the Miata and my old Civic I'll probably do the same type of videos for this car so hopefully you guys stick around for those but yeah I just wanted to update you guys uh, super excited on this new car definitely be showing you guys more of it you know I'm not gonna be doing like weekly uploads or anything like that I don't think I just don't have the time for it but uh, I will keep you guys updated with this new car and uh, one more thing, I did pick up a, uh, a racing uh, simulator setup, you know, you guys probably see my PC over here. I built this thing a while ago in like 2015 or 16, but it's still running good. And like, I've never really played racing games on it. I usually played like first person shooters and I'll play like Gran Turismo or Forza Horizon on the console. And then, you know, I was thinking like, I should just play like the real, the realistic simulators, you know, like iRacing or a set of Corsa or Project Cars 2. And then I found like, I actually picked up the Thrustmaster T300 RS, which is over here. Maybe we'll do another video of, like, noob tries uh, racing simulator because I learned I'm a lot worse at driving than I actually thought. <laughs> but I picked up the T300 RS GT, you know, the one with the pedal set with the uh, clutch and everything, which is actually under my desk right here. And I've been playing Project Cars 2 a bunch, you know. The game looks amazing, and then I recently downloaded iRacing, uh, where you actually race online, like, competitively with other people. You do spec Miata and stuff like that, or Miata MX-5 Global Cup or something. And, you know, that is difficult because everyone's so good and I'm not as good as racing as I thought. So maybe I'll make a video on that. Let me know if you guys want to. I'll make like a sim racing video or something. But that's been pretty fun lately. And then, you know, just doing some basic, uh, I've been going to like K1 speed. You know, like the electric go-karts that aren't crazy fast. But, you know, I'm still into cars, still doing this kind of stuff. And uh, hopefully you guys stick around for the next video with the uh, new car release. But I'll drop a teaser right now.